What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make Arson Wise outfit. But before we do actually get into the outfit, I'm going to show you guys on how to get the paramedic belt first. So to get the paramedic belt, you're going to want to go ahead and look for or go to your facility. Once you do get to your facility, I'll just go back to you whenever I do get to my facility. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are at your facility, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the paramedic outfit that gives you the paramedic belt also. So you guys are going to, whenever you guys are here at your facility, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and access your planning screen and go ahead and start act one. So whenever you guys go ahead and start up act one, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up the setup that's called dead carrier. I believe that's what's called. And then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and launch it. And you guys are going to need a friend for this. So I'll get back to you whenever I do have a friend in here. So whenever you guys are in the dead carrier mission, then you guys are just going to want to make sure you have a friend in here. And once you guys have a friend in here, make sure you guys have the difficulty set to hard. And then you guys can just go ahead and confirm the settings and then you guys can just hit play. So whenever you guys load in, you guys will have to be the host for this unless you guys can join the other team. But I'm pretty sure you guys do have to be the host for this. Go ahead and scroll down to outfits and you guys are going to want to go ahead and make sure you have the green paramedic with the paramedic belt. So after you guys have that, you guys can do the blue, it doesn't matter, or you guys can use the green, it doesn't matter, because you guys are getting the paramedic belt either way. But after you guys are in the green paramedic, then you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. So whenever you guys go ahead and spawn outside your facility, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and blow up the ambulance. So whenever you guys go ahead and blow up the ambulance, the job will fail. And right whenever the stats show up, your friend will need to restart or the person that's not getting the paramedic belt. Make sure your friend restarts or the person that's not getting the paramedic belt needs to restart. And so whenever your friend restarts or whoever's not getting the paramedic belt, go ahead and reset your controller right whenever you see the downloading in the bottom right hand corner. And so your friend will message you or you guys can count to 30 to 40 seconds and then you guys will load in. So whenever your friend messages you and says that you guys are outside, you guys can go ahead and reconnect your controller and then you guys will see that you guys don't have a map anymore. So after you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to a gun store. So you guys aren't able to hit pause, so then you guys are able to see where the gun store is at. But then, so you guys are just going to have to remember it by memory. So just go ahead and head to the gun store. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to the gun store, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and walk to the middle counter. So whenever you guys go ahead and get to the middle counter, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and buy the LCD earpiece. After you guys do that, then all you guys need to do is just wait and have your friend invite you. So have him restart his game and then whenever he loads back into a session, then have him invite you. So whenever your friend goes ahead and invites you whenever he loads back in, you guys can just go ahead and join him. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back in with the paramedic outfit, you guys can see that I'm in a public session with people now. So now for this outfit, you're just going to want to go ahead and head to a clothing store. So whenever you do get to a clothing store with the paramedic outfit and the paramedic belt, you're going to want to go ahead and go up here to the front counter and just save the outfit because you're going to want to save the outfit so then you can use the outfit later with the paramedic belt because we're going to be merging the belt onto this outfit. Now for this outfit, you're going to want to walk up here to the front counter and scroll down until you find the heist tactical stealth, which will be right here on slot 19. And you're going to equip the pincer outfit. The only reason you have to equip the pincer outfit is because you guys can see that the pants and the boots merge together already. If you guys go to your pants and then after you do equip these jeans and then you guys end up walking to the shoes and then you guys try to equip these boots, it doesn't let you. I don't know why. That's just how Rockstar made it. So you have to equip the pincer outfit. After you do equip the pincer outfit, you can then just back out of the front counter. You can see that the top and the pants are already all together. Now, just walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to scarfs, click on scarfs, and equip the black desert scarf on slot two. After you do equip the black desert scarf, back out of scarfs, go to gloves, click on gloves, and equip the black tactical gloves, which will be on slot 72. Once you do equip the black tactical gloves, you can then just back out of your accessories and that will be it. Now, if your character has any head accessories, you're going to want to go ahead and take that off your character. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my head accessories. Now that my character has no head accessories, the next thing that you guys want to make sure you guys have is the utility vest. So walk over here to your tops once again, go to utility vest on slot 53, and then you're going to look for the peach plate carrier on slot 43. After you do equip the peach plate carrier, this is what your outfit should look like so far. Once your outfit does look like this, just walk up here to the front counter 
hit edit saved outfits and if you are doing the heist merge then you're going to want to save this outfit on any slot that you want but if you're if you are doing it's a g thing which is like crooked cop you're going to want to save the outfit on slot one or slot 20. so after you have saved the outfit you can now just back out of edit saved outfits scroll down to heist coveralls which will be on slot 12 and equip one of these outfits from slot 9 through slot 12 with the toxic mask after you do equip one of these outfits we're now going to head over here to the pier so then we can do the telescope glitch when you have found a telescope on the pier all you want to do is the telescope glitch just go and run past telescope like this hit right on the d-pad you'll see that your character runs in place and looks towards the telescope just like this all you want to do now is pull up your interaction menu go ahead and go to style go to your outfits and go and equip the outfit you just saved with the peach plate carrier which should look like this after your outfit looks like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask merges with your outfit just like this. Now, we're going to head over here to the gun store, so then we can save this outfit. Once you are at the gun store, you're going to want to walk over here to your tops, and just like before at the other clothing store, hit edit saved outfits, and if you are doing the heist to merge, you can save the outfit on whichever slot you want. But if, if you are doing the it's a G thing, which is like crooked cop, save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. After you have saved the outfit, you can then just back out of your tops. Now we're going to go and start up a job. So just hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, go to play job, go to rockstar created, go ahead and click on missions and look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and just start up that mission. Now that you are in the Titan of a job mission, you should see that your outfit doesn't have the peach plate carrier anymore. And this is what your outfit should look like. Once your outfit does look like this, walk back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before. Once you did save the outfit, back out of the tops, you can now pull up your phone, click on job list, and quit the job from your phone. When you load back into a public session, you're now going to want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, and you're going to want to equip the outfit that you did save with the paramedic belt. So obviously you guys would probably be doing, or you guys would probably equip the paramedic outfit. You guys see already do have an outfit with the paramedic belt, so it's not the paramedic outfit, but yours might be the paramedic outfit with the paramedic belt, which is just fine. But if you already do have an outfit with the paramedic belt, then this will also work. Now that you do have your outfit on with the paramedic belt, you're going to want to head over here to your apartment. But if you are doing it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description so you can bookmark the job. And then you guys can do that just like Crooked Cop. But I will get back to you once I do get to my apartment. After you do get inside your apartment, you're going to want to go into the heist planning board boardroom and walk up to the heist planning board. And you're going to, out of all the five heists, you're going to want to start the first one. That's called the Fleeka job. After you, after you start the Fleeka job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. Once you complete the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Karuma. And the Karuma job is going to be the one that we're going to be using for the merge glitch. Once you have loaded into the Karuma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. After you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can then confirm your settings and then just invite whoever you want. Like you can have a friend help you out or somebody random in your session can join you because it's not really that hard to do. But once someone does join, you can, just, you can then just launch the mission. Now that you are where it shows your owned outfits, go ahead and scroll to the slot to wherever you save the outfit, which should look like this. Once your outfit looks like this, just hit ready to play. When you have fully loaded into the Karuma job, all you need to do now is pull up your phone, click on job list and quit the job from your phone. When you have loaded back into a public session, you're gonna wanna find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, but once you do find a vehicle, you're then gonna wanna now register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you have registered as a CEO or an MC, you're now going to want to go ahead and get inside the car. After you've gotten inside the car, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. And now you just hop out of your car and you will see that you do have the outfit and the paramedic belt merged over to this outfit. Now, all we need to do is head over here to the clothing store, so then we can get the glasses for the outfit, and then we can finish the rest of the outfit from there. Now that you are at the clothing store, just walk over here to the glasses, scroll down to gun range glasses, click on gun range glasses, and you're gonna look for the orange guns, which will be on slot 11. After you have bought and equipped them on your character, you can now back out the glasses, and for the rest of this outfit, we're gonna head over here to the mask store. Once you have made it to the mask door, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 17, and you're going to look for the charcoal ski mask or the charcoal toggle ski, 
which will be right here on slot 94. After you do equip this mask, you can then just go ahead and back out of Ski Mask, walk over here to your hats now, scroll down to Bulletproof Helmets on slot 18, and you're going to want to go ahead and buy the Black Bulletproof. After you do buy the Black Bulletproof, and if you guys already didn't own it, then you're going to want to go ahead and back out, just walk back over here to the mask, go to Ski Mask, and just re-equip this mask. Now that you do have this mask equipped and you just did buy the Black Bulletproof, and you should already have the glasses, now we're going to head over here to the pier, so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet and glasses with the mask. Once you do find a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, looks towards the telescope. With the recent update, your character's mask doesn't come off anymore. So now, the only way you know is if your character glitched is if you guys run in place and then look towards the telescope like this. Now, all you want to do is pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and go to style, go to your accessories, Go to, scroll down to your helmets and just scroll through your helmets until you find the black bulletproof. After you do find the black bulletproof, you can then just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge, to merge together just like this. Now to add the glasses, just do the telescope glitch again. So run past telescope, hit right on the d-pad, your character will run in place, look towards the telescope. Now pull up your interaction menu up again, go ahead and go to style, go to your accessories, Go to your glasses and scroll through your glasses until you do find the orange guns. Whenever you guys scroll through your glasses, your mask will come off, but you guys don't have to worry. Once you have found the orange guns, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the glasses, the helmet, and the mask merge all together just like this. So now, all you need to do is go to the clothing store and save this outfit. And after you do save the outfit, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this sick outfit, or Arson Wise outfit. I hope you guys did enjoy this outfit glitch video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.